Today, I want to tell you a very special story. It goes like this. In the beginning, God loved to dance. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, our God, danced across the universe. One day, God came across a little planet called Earth. God thought, this could make a great dance floor. And then wondered if others would like to dance too. So God said, let there be. And there was. So many things. Water and sky, sun and moon and stars, birds and plants, fish and animals, and human beings. And God said, this is very good. And all of creation laughed and danced with God. But slowly, over time, some of the humans stopped dancing. More and more of them forgot how to dance with God. And they grew angry and greedy and fearful. And with those things, they started to hurt each other and the rest of creation. God was really sad and wondered that they had forgotten the joy of dancing. So God sighed and sent rain to clear the dance floor and start all over. Now, there was one family, the family of Noah, who hadn't forgotten how to dance with God. And that family stayed by God's side. They built a boat and rode the waves across the dance floor until the ground was dry again. And when they came out of their boat, God wiped a rainbow across the sky and said, Come what may, I won't flood the world again. I love you too much. Many years later, an old man named Abraham and his equally old wife, Sarah, were invited to dance with God. And they did. Despite not really knowing who God was, they followed God out into the desert. And they danced. But they were sad because they didn't have a child. God saw their sadness and said, look at the sky. Can you count all those stars? That's how many children you'll have. And then God gave them a baby boy that they named Isaac because they laughed. They taught their son how to dance with God. And their son taught his sons who taught their children. There were many, many children then. And they called themselves the Israelites. They lived in Egypt. Once they had been respected by the Egyptians, but there were so many of them that the Egyptians became scared of them and made them slaves. They hurt the Israelites badly, but the Israelites still danced with God, though it was a lot harder than it used to be. God saw Abraham's beloved children hurting and decided to rescue them. So God called them out of Egypt by leading them through the Red Sea. God made a man named, named Moses and, and made him brave. And with his sister and his brother, they walked through the sea on dry ground. When all the Israelites were safe and the Egyptians stuck in the mud of the seabed, God closed the waters of the Red Sea, rescuing the Israelites and giving them freedom. Moses' sister Miriam gathered the people and they danced harder and more joyfully than they had in years. The Israelites went to a land God promised them, but many times over the years, they forgot the steps that their grandparents and their parents had danced, and they forgot about God. Then something bad would happen, and some of them would remember who God was and that their ancestors used to dance with God way back in the day. 
They would cry out and God would help them and things would be okay for a little while. But as the generations passed, more and more people forgot how to dance with God. They became angry and bitter and jealous and fearful and greedy and arrogant again. They would hurt each other and hurt the rest of creation. And God's heart hurt. God saw what had happened to the people that God so loved. And God said, I will make things right. I will come myself and dance among you, showing you the steps. And when you mess up, I'll make it so that you don't ever feel like you need to leave the dance floor again. So God the Son came and took the name Jesus. He lived a human life, dancing with his family and his friends at weddings and birthday parties. He taught people God's dance moves, helping them to remember what they had forgotten so that they could dance with God again. But once again, some people grew angry. They didn't trust that God was with us in Jesus. And they certainly didn't like all these moves that he was teaching. They didn't really like him. So they hung him on a cross and he died. And they were pretty satisfied because they thought he would never dance again. And that was okay. But they were wrong. Some women went to Jesus' tomb to visit, and when they got there, an angel appeared and told them not to be afraid. Jesus is alive. And they looked, and there was Jesus. He had beat the people's fear and anger, their hatred and their envy, and he stood before them, God in the flesh, and the women knew. They knew Jesus was God. They knew God was more powerful than any hurtful thing that humans could think of or do. They knew that they didn't have to live in fear or doubt or fight with or hurt one another. They knew looking at Jesus that God continued to dance among them. And God in Jesus looked at them and smiled and said, Will you dance with me?